Hi, this is Vijay and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So, this video tutorial is gonna be the production of the YouTube channel here Vijay Shrestha and the series of videos that we are gonna make on Java programming is gonna be for the beginners. Okay, so in this tutorial, we are gonna learn about you know the Java's history and also java and about the java buzzwords so let's get started so first of first of all what is java java is a powerful versatile programming language for developing software running on mobile device or desktop computers or servers and next thing <clears throat> It's Java was developed by a team by uh, led by James Gosling at the Sun Micro system. And now that Sun Micro system is being purchased by Oracle in 2010. And the next thing is Java is originally called OEC and in 1995 renamed to Java. <coughs> its name was changed to Java. Okay. All right. Now we are gonna uh, see more uh, features about Java. So it's not possible for me to know you know all these uh, features available in Java, but I'm gonna be stressing on some important features. So first uh, thing is Java is a higher level programming language. Okay. So just like the language la <coughs> C C plus plus Java is higher program level programming language. So you know which is easy to learn for the beginners and also it allows us to write the programs okay very easily and the next thing is java is platform independent programming language so which means that you are gonna write your programs only one and you are gonna execute that code or that program in different platforms for example you know let's say you have a program right and once you write that program in java you can execute that code in window platform in linux platform and also in machine touch platform so that's the beauty of the java so you are gonna learn you are gonna execute that code anywhere at any time okay and the next thing uh, it Java is a compiled and interpreted programming language. So this compilation and interpretation is used to convert your source code to a particular form you know which can be executed in your computer. So we are gonna be learning about this in the next tutorial in detail but here just remember that you know Java is compiled and interpreted program language. Alright. Now we are gonna <coughs> see some Java buzzwords. So the so the first thing in Java is Java was designed to be simple for the professional program to learn and use it efficiently. Okay. So if you have some experience in object-oriented programming language such as C plus plus or PHP then you are gonna find this java very easy and the next thing is java is object oriented okay programming language you know we are gonna be use the class object and features okay with features available in object oriented approach in java and this java is a complete object oriented programming language so everything is in object in java and the next thing is java is a robust programming language okay so using java you can write programs that can be executed reliably in variety of systems so we can say that java is one of the robust programming <coughs> languages that's available today okay and next thing is java is a multi-thread Created programming language. Java was designed to meet the real world requirements of creating in interactive and networked programs. Okay, and to 
accomplish that java supports multi-threading you know who is also you to write programs that do multiple things or many things simultaneously so if it is confusing don't worry we are gonna be learning all these things later the of in of in the upcoming tutorials so just remember that you know java and, <clears throat> and you to do multiple things simultaneously all right things next things is architecture neutral okay as i told you before once you write the code in java programming you guys can execute that code in any platform you can execute that code in windows you can execute that code in linux or you can execute that code in mac also so we can say that in java you are gonna <coughs> write program once only once okay and you are gonna execute that code anywhere at any time and forever and also you don't need to worry about the operating system operated or you know processor upgraded etc etc and the next thing in in java is interpreted and in the program language which provides um, high performance in java we are gonna be converting our source code to something called byte code and then we are gonna be interrupt that byte code using the jvm you know which is jvm virtual machine and we are gonna be executing that byte code so java is a interpreted programming language and also the performance of the java is pretty good as the next thing in java is distributed okay programming language uh, <clears throat> java is designed for the distributed environment of the internet because it supports the tcp ip protocol java also supports the remote method invocations or rma you know which allows you guys to assess or invoke the method over a network so if you guys don't understand all these things don't worry you know how to learn all these things in details in the upcoming tutorials and it's gonna be good you know once you start writing the codes in java <clears throat> and the next the last thing java is dynamic programming language you can dynamically link code in a safe manner in java all right and the next things in the <clears throat> that we are gonna see the this tutorial in about uh, you know where to can use java okay you can for register computer and also you can use this java it is generated by dynamically websites okay you know the dynamic website are getting more popular day by day uh, in this modern year era and you guys can develop the dynamic websites by using jsp you know which is a part of jvm and then you guys can use java to develop the application for the handheld device so if you guys know about the smartphones and android is one of the operating system that can be installed or which is available with the smartphones and you can develop the apps for the this smartphones for the android operating system by using the java programming language so guys this is so guys this it is is it uh, guys is this about the introduction to the java and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel